Hey there, I'm your host Lesoi, and in today's video, I'll show you how to create an interactable door. You'll be able to open the door and close it. So let's begin. First, let's go into our content drawer. Inside of which, let's find our input actions, and we're going to create a new input action called IA underscore interact. Let's save this, and then let's go into our IMC, inside of which we're going to create a new mapping and let's look for IA interact and let's select a key we want this to work on. I'm going to choose E. Once I'm happy, we can save and exit. Next, let's create our um, interaction. So right click, go into blueprints and search for blueprint interface. Let's call this BPI, which stands for blueprint interface. And I'm going to call it interaction. Go inside of this and the function that you see, we're going to rename to interact. Let's compile and save. Once you've done that, let's go into our character. So for me, it's going to be blueprints, pp underscore third person character. Once I'm inside, let's look for our input action we just created. So right click, ia underscore interact. On started, let's search for for each loop with break. And on the array, we want to get overlapping actors. And the class filter, we're going to select actor. On array element, we're going to search for does implement interface. And the interface we want to implement is the one we just created. So look for BPI interaction. And then let's get a branch. So press B and hold down left mouse button. And we can connect it like so. On true, we want to drag from array element and let's search for interaction or interact. Let's select the one with the message and we can connect it into true. And at the very end, we want to loop this so it no longer searches for uh, interactable objects. So I'm just going to reroute it just so it looks nice. And once you've done that, we can actually comment our code and this is going to be called door interaction. Let's compile and save. And from here we can exit and let's create our door blueprint. So I'm just going to create it right here. Let's right click, go to blueprint class and select actor. This is going to be called BP underscore door. Once you go inside, let's create a static mesh. And this static mesh is going to be our door. So you can rename it to door and let's find it up here. It's going to be called SM underscore door. This is the starter pack content. And by the way, if you don't have this, an easy way to add it is if you go to your content drawer, select add, and you can select add feature or content pack. So let's go back into our door. And now let's actually add a frame. So we're going to add a second static mesh. And this time it's going to be a door frame. Now I'm going to move it a little bit like so. And if it doesn't fit perfectly here, we can simply adjust the metering mode here to five. Now it's going to fit. And also we don't want it to be under door. We want it to be beside it. If you select door, now we want to add a collision. Otherwise our player won't be able to interact with the door. So let's select the box collision. I'm going to call it a collision. And I'm going to scale this up into three, three and three. We want to be a little bit generous. Otherwise it will be hard for the player to interact with the door. About there is okay. I'm happy with that. So let's compile and save. Then let's go into the event graph and we want to destroy these guys. We don't need them. In class settings, let's select uh, add on the implemented interfaces and look for BPI. This is our interaction interface. We can compile and if you double click on interact, it should come up in your event graph. From here, I want to add a flip flop. This is going to open and close our door. Next, I want to add a timeline. So add timeline. This is going to be called the door open slash close. And B is going into the reverse. Let's double click on our timeline. And the length over here is how long it's going to take to open the door. I'll set it to one second. We can create a new track add float track. And this track is going to be called door timeline. And let's right click, add key to curve float, a value of zero, and another value of zero. 
let's right click again add key to curve float we're going to set a value of one and another value of one once you have that we can compile let's go back into the event graph and on dorm timeline let's search for lurk let's select the one without anything we can break this uh, link let's connect it into alpha and a is our door closed and b is our door open so if we go back to the viewport we can see that our door is 0 0 on rotation when it's closed so if we rotate it we can see uh, what rotation is going to be when it's opened so i'm happy with about 110 so if i go back um, if i bring this back actually just there to zero when it's closed and if i go back into my event graph and b i can say 110 from here let's get our door and i want to get set relative rotation and this uh, will be split and update will go into here and the return value is going to go into z so if we compile and save we can exit now and if we place our door into our world we'll be able to test this so if we hit play our player should be able to open and close the door i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you did leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike and as always happy developing